I guess the railways were used to a top-down telling of this is how we're going to do things on a day-to-day -day basis and very good at if something goes wrong in the morning then we have a ring round and a kick-ass attitude of, of this is how it's going to be, we, we go and um, shout at the guy and then we all carry on the next day and some days it's a good day and some days it's a bad day. Well, we actually found that that, that that way of managing people wasn't actually the way of the future and that wasn't actually going to give us a sustainable delivery of, of, of service. You know, so I think we found um, originally quite a disconnect between the leadership of the organisation and the guys fighting on the shop floor and, 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 and a lot of days it was a battle for the guys on the shop floor to, to fight to get trains out in the morning. Probably still is a little bit like that but we've taken that away and become much more of a team based problem solving a, 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 a approach to, to how they get the things out in the morning and, and that's supported by the whole business. So when you walk around the place, what you, what you see and what you feel differently is that you see KPIs. You'll see a lot of guys working, standing by boards, understanding what the status of the trains are, what the status of the railway is, understanding what the plan is for the night and discussing um, with, with problem-solving tools where things have gone wrong and how those things are going to be put right. Uh, you will see um, a, a very regimented and disciplined um, production environment that starts off with, with phone calls at regular intervals throughout the day which involves groups of people understanding and standing by boards that have got the complete plan for, the, for, for their part of the activity both on a day-to-day -day basis and also then the longer term plans are reviewed regularly about how we then take it to the next step and the next level. In terms of MDI, Managing for Daily Improvement, we have a four-tiered structure of SQDC KPIs that we've designed and created within our business. So we have tier four, what we can describe as the uh, support functions, the stores and the workshops have a boardwalk between eight o'clock and nine o'clock in the morning. Basically what each line is showing you is, is the train and its journey through the, the depot during the night and what work we're going to complete on it. We tried electronic uh, planning board, but we lost the interactivity between the OPSCOs, the production managers, engineering. Anybody who's got an interest in the plan will come to the board and juggle. Ironically, the OPSCOs who said the board would never, use, never work, they're the people now who, manage, who rely on it more than anybody. And what it does as well, the, we have the team member A's come in overnight to the maintenance team, and they clock in. Before they even clock in, they're looking at the board and seeing what they're what their workload is for the night. So straight away it's win-win. We've got the maintenance team going back to their, the mess room with, this, with the seed planting of what they're going to do. And then uh, we have a tier three uh, KPI review, which is what we call the board walk. So each of the train care centres and their support teams turn up at a board every day at nine o'clock to re review the performance of the past 24 hours against a set of structured uh, SQDC KPIs. And at 9.30, the Head of Operations has a virtual boardwalk. In other words, he has a conference call with the train care managers from each of the six mainline train care centres, and they review their own electronic dashboard of KPIs. And then at Tier 1 level, the Head of the Support Functions and the Operations Director have a review uh, via conference call of the emerging issues within the business during the day. Culture change to us fundamentally was underpinned by changing the processes and changed the way that we connected people together and we changed the way that, that we managed people and we changed the way that we expected to have a dialogue with those people. We then um, for the first time started involving people working as, um, in, in teams. But unless 24-7 railway is supported by the finance guys, the HR community, the project management community, all of the functions of the business have to be aligned and working in the same way and all feel that, that, that delivery of the output of the operation is essential to them is, is to uh, the guys on the shop floor at night or in the production. So the Fleet Status Board, which covers all 56 trains, uh, is the main driver whereupon any material issues in the yellow sections that can't be effectively dealt with and complied will go to the Countermeasure Board and indeed the relevant material KPIs. The engineering issues that are raised from the board will be taken across to the relevant 
engineering support groups. So again, when we first started using the, uh, the manual KPIs, uh, we didn't have a countermeasure culture, as I describe it, in place within our business. We would stand up and review the KPIs and discuss the reasons why the KPI may be on or off target. But we actually didn't get people down to discussing root cause or assigning actions on people to address the reasons why those KPIs are off target. One of the main problems we have in maintenance is because it's a 24 hour a day, seven day a week operation, is making sure that all the problems that the teams have on the shifts, whether it's related to tooling, process issues or material issues is about how to make that visible to the rest of the business and we can assign actions and owners through the support teams to actually help the maintenance team achieve their objectives. In terms of the way that we review our KPIs, it's virtually a stand-up meeting with a group of people in front of a board for 15 or 20 minutes maximum. All the support functions, necessary support functions are involved. Uh, there is good communication about the status of those KPIs and in terms of the problem solving process, uh, countermeasures, every, every KPI board within our business now has a set of countermeasures at the bottom of those KPIs and throughout that meeting uh, we'll discuss root causes, reasons why KPIs are off target and countermeasures will be assigned during that meeting. Uh, this is something that we've, uh, we've tried to train our people on over the past four or five years. Uh, we've trained a lot of people in the uh, basic tools for problem solving. Uh, some people have even attended uh, Six Sigma problem solving training courses. So throughout our business now, root cause analysis is carried out on an almost daily basis uh, for a broad population of our people. So we're now leading up to a, a, another lean tool that we refer to as leadership standard work. And this is all about uh, production managers, again, at all locations, having a prescribed, having their own standard operation really, a prescribed set of tasks that they must perform each shift uh, that they come onto the site to manage the fleet of trains, that they are working to the same, the, same, uh, the same process and the same timeline throughout the shift. And hence we've introduced a tool called Leadership Standard Work with like a set of T-cards as, uh, as a memory jogger or an aid memoir for that production manager so he knows that during the night he's got to perform certain tasks and activities and able to make sure that we achieve the service uh, for our customer. When I first walked into Chester I was asked to transfer uh, the ways of working from Mainline into Chester location. And I think my first view was wow do we really need all this information and yet as time moved on um, I, I began to understand the power of having the individuals around at the location at the same time uh, and the, the decision making that was that took place uh, issues that would drag on normally over over a two or three day period could be ironed out in one hour after the conference call or after the tier twos or the board walks that we actually have and i think that's the power of it is, is having people in one location to support a decision and i think that that was it for me really it was having everyone around and now it's such a powerful tool, I don't think the business could really work without it.